Hi, I'm Vic from Piotnet. As you know, both Piotnet interfaces and Google Sheets integration have changed a lot since this feature was released in 2019. I'm glad to update steps to get API and complete the integration without coding. At the beginning, access Piotnet settings, you will see an integration tab and Google Sheets is on the top. It still is the same operation as older versions, then click on this blue text to redirect to Google Sheets. You need to create a new project firstly. You can use the auto name or set it a specific name. After creating a new project, complete the mini steps to confirm and enable API. To quickly get to Google Sheets API part, you can find it through the search bar or reach it via the left side bar. Scroll down to Google Workspace, you can get Google Sheets API. You can recognize that API is enabled as in previous steps. Then click on Manage to configure this integration. In Oath Consent Screen category, choose how you want to configure and register your app. Tick to External User Type. After that, click on Create to release it. In the app information of first step, set a app name for consent. Then fill out your user support email for users want to contact you. This is a mandatory field. You can upload your logo to help people recognize your app or ignore this field. In app domain, as needed to provide your homepage link and other terms. For example, I'll apply my test website URL here. Then fill out your authorized domain in the next field. For developer contact information, it requires to leave an email address for Google to notify any changes to your project. You can ignore the second step if you don't have any permission set up. You need to add an user email address and test user step. Caused only test user are able to access the app while publishing status is set to testing. In the last step, it's kind of a summary of three previous steps, must be checked thoroughly all information. You even possibly revise data by this edit button. Then go to credentials category. Create an API key to identify your project. A pop-up appears with a note in the end. Click on blue edit API key text to restrict this key. Tick to restrict key and choose Google Sheets API and suggestion list. After that, you need to create an Oath Client ID to access users' data. Choose Web Application for Application Type. Click to add URL and authorized JavaScript origins. 
For example, I add my test homepage URL. In authorized redirect URL, you can get this URL in Piotnet settings. Just need to copy and paste it. After all, click to create to get client ID and client secret. And fill them back to Piotnet integration setting. After saving the settings, click on Authorize to confirm the integration. At this stage, you almost finish the connector, then create a simple contact form. In Submit button, scroll down to Google Sheets connector part and enable it. In Google Sheets ID box, you need to fill out exact ID. I'll show you how to get it. Basically, ID is a part of your spreadsheet URL, it is value between D and edit. Tab name is the corresponding name of your desired connection tab. For example, I'll revise this tab name to a simple name to easily demonstrate. Then click to add item to map your fields with corresponding columns. Save this form and check the result. As you see, the entry data pulled to my spreadsheet exactly. It is also possible to apply multiple forms to a spreadsheet. On the other hand, some users asked how to implement the specific time of submission form into Sheets. It's so easy, you can use a hidden field in our dynamic tags. In default value box, click on dynamic tag icon and choose current date time. You are able to customize this time format depending on your needs. If you are using Elementor Pro version, you also apply original dynamic tag. Then don't forget to map the new hidden field corresponding to your column. Let's check the final result.
Here you go.